Good morning, afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, I'm Cycle. It's time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. Today we're driving a scenario called Supercell, which basically is a massive thunderstorm. And that is how I know a massive thunderstorm to be. Call it a supercell because it's a bunch of cells, you know, science. But, uh, never, don't worry about it. Let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to be driving a thunderstorm. That's all we need to know. Level 5 scenario, that is a little worrying. Uh, why is that the third scenario? I have no idea. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Good evening. Tonight you will operate a Cella Express number 2171 from Baltimore to Washington. The weather has been getting progressively worse throughout the evening. There haven't been any incidents yet, but remain vigilant at all times. We're getting in soon, aren't we? Begin boarding and unloading passengers. Okay. So, doors are open. Ah, the rain. I love rain. Headlights should already be on. They are on. Okay, that's good news. Now, let's bring the hat up. Um... Okay, let's check our itinerary. <laughs> not really much else to discuss here at the time. Uh, it's night view, so I'm not going to try to, uh, you know, give you too many views of trains here. They're not going to get good ones at night. So uh, we're just going to go ahead, uh, except maybe at a station stop. I'm not going to try and get you too many views aside from that. So um, we got only one station stop, BWI Airport Track 3. And, uh, oh, sorry, there are other things here. Yeah, the other one at Washington. So we only have the two stops. We are going to have just the two stops. There you go. So I'll get you a shot at BWI Airport, but other than that, uh, yeah, we're not going to really get much here in terms of train shots today, so don't expect any. So we're going to get going in just a moment. Conductor, Acela, number 2171, ready to depart Baltimore. Proceed on signal indication. Roger. And this scene gets up to speed in a hurry, unlike the train we just drove. We're going to have to drive that train again two more times. Yay. Now, this is a 55-minute scenario. I wonder why it's a 55-minute scenario. We're leaving at uh, 2119. Our arrival time is 2260. So I have a feeling we're going to get slowed down up ahead. So there's our green signal. We are clear to proceed. Ooh, I had little legs. I went to push the uh, throttle back. I wasn't ready for that. Rain is the uh, thing that really causes problems with leg in this game. If you have rain, you're gonna you're guaranteed to have some kind of a leg in a scenario. There's nothing you can do about it. This is why I don't tend to like rainy scenarios and. Sometimes even night scenarios can cause late because you, you don't even know it's happening because you, just, you don't see the lights on the train much of the time or lights just show up in the distance all of a sudden you're having leg. Now I do have my signal guide up while we for the uh, New York to New Haven route. I'm not sure how consistent the cab signals are to the uh, information for the New York New Haven route, but I wanted to have something up that will give me information on the cab signals. Uh, as you see them, because you're going to see them a lot easier than the signals over our heads, for sure. Though I did see the first one, obviously, we're going to see the other ones, too. But in the cab, you have a constant refrain of what that signal is. So, as the signal comes up, I'm going to try and get you more information on what that signal is. And I have my guide up for that. Now, last video, you saw that I had the one signal that the uh, two yellows, diagonal yellow up to the right, flashing green below. Uh, that was telling us to slow down to 40 mile, 45 miles per hour. And we had to do that well before a 45 mile per hour speed board. I don't know why. Uh, because if we did not do it by that point, we got basically forced to a stop and we got wheel slip penalties galore. So you couldn't respond to the alert or anything. I don't know why. Um, like I said, I'll try to get an answer for you on that, but I may not have that answer before the end of the series. Now, something I am considering doing is splitting this series up because I have another uh, route and another train I want to uh, introduce because there's something that I'm going to be looking at doing in the future, possibly. Uh, and I 
want to see if I can get one get another train there to do so. I'm not can not certain I'm gonna do that yet, but I'm gonna get at least this stereo done that I'm gonna analyze uh, how I want to proceed with uh, that part of the proceedings. If I do split this series up, I'm going to go ahead and do that other set for about another week, maybe maybe a week and a half, I don't know, and then we're going to come back, we're going to continue on this route. I may have a Wednesday video after this as well, and this is a Tuesday video. By the way, a little note about the uh, today. Uh, I think it's today, I'm not actually sure, because again, I'm recording this before Tuesday, but um, I think and I'm, I'm a few days before that because I'm trying to get things moved ahead here to a good pace so I can be away from it for a while if I need to. But I'm trying to get some content recorded for a jerk. So, so when I'm watching my mother's house next week, uh, my mother has me coming out to watch her house because she has a pet cat and she's not going to be there. She's going to be on a vacation somewhere. So I'm basically going to be watching her house. I uh, know you're not all invited over for a party. She would kill me. Uh, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, plus I'm old enough to know better on that. So I'm going to be uh, watching her house and as a result, um, basically I don't, whoa, whoa, that was close. Okay. As a result, I don't actually want to, I have to record a whole bunch of videos at her house, but I have no problem with editing videos at her house because I'm going to probably take my PC with me and I'm going to be able to have that do things uh, do the video editing processes while I'm, you know, watching the television because there's a whole bunch of shows taped on her uh, DVR or PVR that she wants me to start watching and deleting because it's starting to eat into the uh, available recording time. So I'll be busy watching TV next week. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say to clear up space on the PVR, and I'm gonna have to tell her to keep an eye on email, and I'll give her updates on what I'm deleting and watching. Uh, so I'll tell her to keep an eye on email while she's out if, if she can. But um, other than that, that's my plan for the week. Watch a lot of TV. I'm going to take my microphone with me anyway in case I do end up uh, being caught up on that and not wanting to watch anything else during the day so I can at least start recording something else if I want to. Uh, I mean, I'm going to be sitting in her house doing nothing. I'm going to need to do something if I run out of things to do. So... The only good thing is she's feeding me for two, the two weeks. Uh, we'll talk about that later. So, uh, C E T C one train dispatch to a cell two one seven one express over. This is two seven one. Go ahead, dispatch over. I have a report of a downed tree at Seabrook, which may be stuck in the cannery of number three track. We'll contact you again shortly with additional details and guidance. Over. Roger. C E T C one over and out. We have a one ten. We're going to go up to speed for right now, which is very efficient. This train. I think we're going to be stopped up ahead. Now because we have to go to a 90 up ahead, I don't want to punch this all the way up to 110. I actually could have sped past that 90 and still be legal for a while, so I don't want to do that. Now we're under the 90, I'm going to go ahead and speed up knowing what I have here. Then we have a 105 and a 125 starting following that. So yeah, as soon as the... Uh, Scenario interest says you're gonna ha that we've had no events. You know you're gonna get an event. <laughs> That's all you need to know about that. That's how these scenarios work. There you go. Scenarios are not just an ordinary drive. If you want that, go to Train Sim World. Then you're gonna have your uh, generic 24-hour timetable. You can just do whatever the heck you want in. Here you got specific things you have to deal with. Not normal most of the time. Well, actually, it is sometimes, but. There's a 120 and a 125 coming up. So we're gonna stop at 120 here. In fact, I'm stopping at 118. And it's dropping to 117, which is perfectly fine. I have no issue with that, especially if we're gonna be slowed down for a tree at some point. Our Hale Thorpe reference up ahead is about two, a minute and a half away according to our ETA. So we're gonna see what happens with that. It's about a mile and a half. I'm suddenly up to 190, so I'm going to actually put a... That's not going to work. Let's put a small brake on here. This is not a combined brake and power throttle. Let's remember that.
So there's Hail Thorpe Track 3, and we are actually being uh, moved through a platform here because it is a platform. So Hail Thorpe is going to be getting a uh, pass by from us. We have another 120 after that, so I'm not going to chance a screenshot here in case I accidentally speed. Sorry, guys. Plus, you can't see much anyway. CETC one train dispatcher to a Cell Express 2171 over. This is 2171 over. So, strain winds have exceeded the 50 mile per hour threshold. Proceed not exceeding 60 miles per hour until instructed otherwise. Over. Roger. Proceed not exceeding 60 miles per hour. Over. And out. So, we have to uh, get our speed down to 60 immediately. This is interesting. We're almost at BWI Airport Track 3 anyway, so I assume that we have to proceed at 60 miles per hour. Fun! We're under a 90 now anyway, but not a big deal for right now. Whoops, we need to get down to... Uh... Why my emergency brake? You know what? I can tolerate that. I don't know why it was an emergency break there, but we're going to go ahead and take that. We only have the three timings to work with, so uh, because of that, you can't get a perfect thousand out of that anyway, and you know what? 333 is still acceptable. I can do that one more time, actually, and I'm still okay. <laughs> I can do that one more time. Now we're being told not to exceed 60, and I'm doing that. I'm going a little slower than I wanted to, but you know what? It's okay. We'll be there in a minute anyway. Whoa, that brake goes up fast. Holy cow. No wonder I got surprised by that. We should be in the platform. We're fine. No panic. The panic level is zero. Can actually ease the brakes off a bit to uh, make it more comfortable for the passengers. And then we'll apply a full brake again there. So doors are open at BWI Airport track number three. <whistles> Asala 2171, okay to go. Roger. Actually, that's a conductor. It's not really a radio, but we'll take it. Leaving at BWI Airport Track 3, or Platform 3, whatever you want to call it. Platform E, I don't know. Uh, Z, B, A. Uh, we're on our way to Grove Track 3. Eventually, we're going to make our way to Washington Union Station, but we're on our way to Grove Track 3. We're probably going to get an update on what's going on. We're supposed to go 60 miles per hour, but because there doesn't seem to be any real indication of any problems for going above 60 miles per hour, I'm going to go ahead and cheat. Maybe we're just a little faster so we can get our update a little bit quicker. Because I know you guys don't want to sit here and watch me go really slow for the entire time. So we're going to make this a little faster for you guys. 80 is good enough. We're going to go 80. This will get us to our update just a little faster. I can bring it back down for the, uh, for the relevant section. We are going to do the 10 mile per hour section because I want you to see what's going on on the track. I want to see what's going on on the track. I want to see this down tree that we were being told about. 
Oh, wait, we weren't told about a down tree yet. I suspect it's going to be a down tree. I'm just guessing. I feel like I said too much too quickly there because I think I, to be fair, I actually did try this section once already and I did stupid, so uh, I'm redoing it. So I think I might have said something that comes up in this section a little early. We're going to find out though. I'm not going to say anything else. I'm just going to shut up right now. <laughs> We're currently supposed to be driving no more than 60 miles per hour, but I'm just cheating it a little bit because I know we can uh, do it in this section having already done this. Uh, you can see the speed limit is already still at 125 miles per hour. So I want to even go that, but I have a feeling that the, because the way scenarios tend to get written, if you're being told don't go past a certain speed, the game will make sure you have a long, long wait up ahead if you go past that speed. So uh, you're better off just staying at that speed. In that case, part of why I'm doing it this way is because I want to also show you when the signal clears so you can also know when you have to be arriving by. So we are allowed to go at least 60, so I'm going to go up to 60. Actually, punch myself over at the end because I can't. Actually, no, we're on a downhill. No, we're going to do, we're going to gain speed anyway, so we're going to let it be. I was just a slow grading. We're not going to gain a lot of speed on this at all. We're not getting any speed, actually. Ah, here comes the uh, gradient increase. Now we're going to gain speed. There it is. Insert gradient here. Turn slowly. So I'm sitting at 667 points right now. You might be wondering if you, uh, if you're looking at this a little bit later than where I lost that one point. Uh, it is 334 per stop. There's 1,002 available. I've gone ahead and continued because I can take that one point penalty just fine. So right now I'm going a slightly enhanced 67 miles per hour. I'm going to go ahead and just keep that going. I'm going to go up to 70. Why not? In fact, let's just keep going a little more because I feel like doing it. We're coming up to Grove Track 3. We're going to get our update quicker by doing this. So we're doing it. Explain to the boss later that I'm doing a video. Okay, time to get my radio out. Or not. Okay, that was not an update. I thought that was where the update was going to be. Okay, so we still don't know anything. Good to know. Good to know we know nothing. We know nothing. What do we know? Nothing.
Okay, now I'm probably going faster than I should do in the, even in this scenario, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep that throttle off now. We're going to... Downhill segment approaching. Gaining speed again. We're on a 0.9% downhill gradient. That is the explanation as to why we are gaining speed. Ah, uh, yeah, crossing any shame. Oh, radio. Two, 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 one, train dispatcher to a cell express 2171 over. This is 2171. A news on that tree? Over. Yeah, we did, I didn't know about the tree. We can confirm that the tree is in the cotton area for track number three track only. The crew there says that travel through the area on number one track will be safe. I'm going to route you to number one track at Bowie. Proceed at restricted speed. Now I've seen 10 miles per hour between mile posts 124 and 125. Sound horn for the work crew as necessary. Over. Roger. CETC1. I'll proceed at restricted speed. Now I've seen 10 miles per hour between mile posts 124 and 125 and sound horn as necessary. Over and out. So in seven miles and change, seven and, seven, seven and three quarters miles from now, a uh, better way to put it, is going to be when I'm going to have to drop to 10 miles per hour. This will be fun. Here I was forgetting that I actually knew about the tree already. <laughs> the tree mentioning was uh, before the uh, BWI stop, and I forgot that. And why I randomly snored there, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not normally a snorter. I wonder why I did that. Hmm. Weird. So my wildly fluctuating speed has wildly fluctuated back down to 70 miles, 77 miles per hour. Now on the way back up. Now being told we have to drop to 45 miles per hour, so I'm going to uh, start doing that. This is good for right now, I'm dropping way too fast. I'm going to actually keep the speed up a little bit because I'm actually coming in way too fast. You can still stay in the 60 range for now. That should still give me enough space to slow down. That will do nicely for now. Probably going to go down naturally at this point. Slow down a little bit. Okay, it's fine.
No, actually, it's going to slow down on its own. Okay, I'm doing it right. This is perfectly fine. I have no problem with this. Unfortunately, we don't have a Glasgow subway style train that knows exactly what speed should be going and slows down to ensure you don't exceed the speed. I mean, that's what you call brain dead driving right there. Whoa, a little bit back down, please. Don't gain that much speed. I'm down just in time, by the way. Literally just in time. And now the train is dangerously trying to push me over 45 again. Well done, train. I'm okay. I'm getting into the 120 right now, or 110. So now we're under a 110 speed. No, we're not. Not till the next signal. You can't proceed to a new speed until the next signal. through that signal now we're only about halfway across it now to three ah it's already ready to go okay that we shouldn't be yet but close enough it actually turned out to be perfect anyway so we have about three miles to go a little less than three miles to go to our 10 mile per hour segment i wonder if we're actually going to be clocked for going over 10 miles per hour that would be interesting I mean, they couldn't pass there. They did a rudimentary form of doing that. Then later on, they introduced the temporary speed boards. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think the temporary speed boards exist on the American routes. That's a UK exclusive thing. So they had to they have to do some different things to make those work on uh, these routes. I've already cheated a little bit of speed on that one sector. I'm going to go ahead and maintain the 60 from now on until we get to the 10. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, we'll take it. I think that would not be considered speeding anyway. You can see the 10 mile per hour section up ahead. I really don't want to do this, but we're going to have to. To satisfy the storyline scenario, if we just go barely through way too fast, what's going to happen is we're going to find a red signal somewhere anyway or break the scenario, so we'll do what we're told. That's how it works. I somehow gained up to 63. I don't know why that happened. Must have been on a downhill again. Okay, minimal brake application now. feel take this 125 mile per hour beast and make it crawl at 10 miles per hour feels disgusting a little more brakes and take them off again
speed down a little more. Is it not coming down? It's not coming down. I should be speeding right now, apparently, but I'm not. Because this is still marked as 110. There you go. We're going to honor the 10. I just was a little, the train didn't want to get quite down there in time. So we're going to keep an eye on what's ahead here. There's not much to really pay attention to in the cab. I mean, I can turn the uh, cab light on, goof around and play a game of Jenga on my phone or something. But no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just keep an eye off ahead. We're going to give you the zoomed in view so you can see what's going on because we're going slow anyway. Let's blow the horn, the uh, lights come on. You can notice that the uh, lights are flashing back and forth as well, which is a nice little touch. Trains actually do do that in uh, North America, by the way. Some of them do, not all of them, but some of them. We have to keep blowing the horn to uh, make the lights keep the ditch lights keep working I guess so we're gonna have to keep doing that a little more speed here please and thank you through this 10 mile per hour section we're being given a signal advising to slow to 45 miles per hour we'll deal with that later I think we see the tree how about you guys there's the tree there's the work crew right there so uh, yeah I'll Maybe it wasn't the tree, but it was a work crew, that's for sure. Oh, the tree is... Yeah, there's the down tree. That is a down tree, 100%. So, uh... That's what we're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. We're coming up on Seabrook Station now. That's what the lights in the distance were that you noticed earlier. Or you might have noticed. I certainly did. The mile post is still four-tenths of a mile away, so Seabrook is not our goal. you think they would say Seabrook, given how far away it is from Seabrook, but... So be it. The running appears to be working correctly. The actual uh, speed limits are not. <laughs> if I want to, I can go 110 in this area right now. Why not? Let's blow right by the crew. They don't. They don't exist. They don't care. They have no problem with me. Well, they would, but we won't talk about that. They're not human beings. They're just random NPC characters that don't do anything except stare at you and wonder whether they're going to get their coffee.
We're still a pro Oh, we're getting a little bit of speed gain now. Let's be careful here. We're on a downhill segment, so let's not speed. 0.9% downhill gradient will cause us to speed. This is the time to play your games on your phone while you're uh, driving, if you were going to do it. Oh, I actually did speed past the, well, okay, that happened a lot quicker than I expected. That happened really quickly. It's not a speeding penalty in this case. The mark's getting the end of the train anyway. We go back up to uh, 45 since we have to speed down for 45 anyway. So I'm going to let it happen now. It's good enough time to start doing that. I think we're still under the last car, but I'll let it be. Bell can go off. And leave that be. Keeping an eye on my speed here. I do not want to exceed 45 for the time being. So 45 is the limit that we are working on. One oh five is normally the speed limit in this area. Crossing back into a 110, but quickly into the 50 and 45. Probably for the junction. This might be a junction speed limit for the 45. So we have to move back over to the main track that we would normally be on at this point. And you can see that we do have our flashing green here. Red over flashing green. And that's when the speed starts going up. Thank you. Thank you very much. So anyway, it is the junction. You can see we are crossing the junction there. So that's what that was for. Are we allowed to go past 45 yet? We're going to find out. Yes, we are. We can go back up to uh, theoretically 60. At some point, we should be cleared above 60 again officially. Going through the next station here. Don't have the note on that. And I'm not going to the map right now to find out. So uh, right now, for the, we're being told that our ETA at the next waypoint, let's say eight miles away, is, uh, well, six, eight minutes from now, which makes sense. If we stay at 60, which is not going to happen, uh, we can go the next mile and change, and we have a whole 15 minutes to do this. You know what? Let's honor the let's honor the sixty, guys. Let's honor the sixty at this point. We're gonna have something slowing us down. Pretty sure of it. Like that forty-five up ahead. We have to get back down to forty-five up there. So we're gonna do that. I 
I just don't trust that signal right now. <laughs> I do not trust that signal at this exact time. Way too much possible uh, time here. Now, this is not the 45, but we have the time. Two, 43.1. I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, slight increase is possible. We'll do that. There we go. That'll work. This is our 45 section, even though the sign up ahead says 45, our signal also said 45, so we are abiding by the signal. Looks like another junction. There's a train right there. Look at that. That's who we were waiting. That's who was waiting for us. finally able to go back to normal I believe at this point so I did some poking ahead earlier when I was uh, way back in the Baltimore area and I noticed there was a train on the wrong track I suspect that train was also in the 10 mile per hour section at the time because it was being junctioned I guess the same way around the tree even though we would have no way to see that I have a feeling that's what was happening so it looks like the AI trains are doing the same thing in this scenario So we're going to maintain 60 for the time being. Our ETA at the uh, waypoint is still uh, six minutes after for whatever reason. We have five miles to go. That's probably why. That makes sense if you think about it. And knowing that we have uh, 10 minutes to go the last mile, I still suspect we're going to have a major slowdown up ahead. I, I would not be surprised to see a major slowdown up ahead. I really would not. So, uh, yeah, this can be one of those uh, weird nights. I'm waiting for the can I just go home now moment of the scenario. While we have the opportunity, let's uh, pay tribute to the beautiful, beautiful sign up here. Reminding us that when we get home, it's time for our evening cheeseburger. And it has to be big. That reminds me of something I saw on the uh, chat for the chat boss route. I think it is. Someone made up some um, fake science for it, and someone came up with the with. I'm not making this up. The Mick pickle. Mmm, pickles, buns. What more could you want? The Mick pickle. You forget playing the route. That's funny enough. That's how you avoid content uh, stealing someone's uh, IP. You just uh, create your own little spin on it. It kind of gives the reference to the company in question without actually stealing their IP or doing advertising for them, which you shouldn't be doing because you're not being paid for it. Why would you advertise for them? That's a 95 coming up. We are coming in range of the uh, area where we need to start worrying about getting back down to 45. So I am going to be worrying about doing that in just a moment. But for right now, everything is hunky-dory. 
We have uh, the sun coming on the left side of our train here. Is there a train passing us? What's going on here? No, I don't know, I don't know what that is. I honestly have no idea. No, the train's slowing itself down to 45. I'm not going to complain. After seeing what happened in the last scenario, I have a feeling we're going to have a problem with the next signal if I don't. But frankly, I don't want to chance it again. Not when we have so much free time to our destination. This is uh, going way too smoothly. I am not confident this is not going to have a problem before the end. There's our 95. Now, in fact, we're about two miles away from Union Station now, I believe. So there it is, 2.386543. Slight break further. There we go. That'll do nicely. That'll do the job. We're going to find our slowdown to 45 warning up ahead, heading up to Union Station. There it is. The other track is closed because if you look at the map here, the other track actually doesn't exist. Now, I'm a little. I'm actually a little upset about this. I kind of wish the route continued to L'Enfant, and I'm being completely honest when I say that. Uh, only because you could then have the wraparound track go around. You could actually have a service coming from Milan Font on the other track, not going through Union Station. So I'm, I'm kind of sad they didn't actually uh, put both routes in. That is something I kind of wish did happen here. Um, oh well. Maybe someone will create it one day and uh, create it as an attachable add-on like they did with, like someone did with the North Wales Coastal and uh, Blano Yes, long or however you say that. I'll look that up later. I'm not worried right now. Maybe someone will create a little extension just to add that because it does. Yeah, they'll have to add some more uh, city. Needless to say, but add some more landscape, and it would actually allow someone who wants to be creative to create the rest of the um, buildings in the uh, capital complex. You'd actually have the entire capital complex in there, which would kind of neat. Yeah, there's our terminus. There's the 20 coming up, so I'm going to get our speed down a little bit for now. You see the 30 warning up ahead here, too. We have to get our speed down to 30, it says. We have a direct yellow signal now, so I think we're actually going to be made to come to a stop up ahead here. Let's just make sure this signal is... Ah, uh, that's a green. That's a green signal, I think, for us. Am I right? Let's look at the map. Where am I? Yeah, I think it's a green signal for me. Yeah, that's definitely a green signal for me. That's over my head. That's my signal. The yellow basically just means that you have to go 30. See, it'd be uh, 45 under it saying that's the track speed, but we're being signaled for 30. We have to be down 20 anyway, so we're going to keep it down at 20. There we go. In fact, I'll leave it at 15 since I'm already down there. Why not? I said we'll keep it at 15. Thank you very much. There we go. That's more like it. 
That's more appropriate. Oh, we're already under the 15. Okay, that happened early. That happened really early. I brought it down to 10 for some reason, but you know what? We can afford it. You can see the yellow signal above the track now, so that means our next signal, well, there is no signal, it's a red. It's the end of the track. So we're going to be ending our journey here. We're going to pull into one of our many Termini platforms here. Track number 18 is where we're stopping today. on the uh, signal speed still says 20 miles per hour. <laughs> you may go 20 even though you're limited to 15 and you know what, there's the 15 down there. <laughs> and you can see a train over there next to us. Northeast Regional 137 apparently came in ahead of us. And the reason I say it came in ahead of us, the label's up there, that's the front of the train. Now you might be wondering, uh, you might be asking me, hey Cyclone, what does the capital look like in this route at night? Don't worry, I'm gonna cover you on that. I will cover you on that before we open the doors because we got lots of time. We're gonna find the capital, we're gonna find out what it looks like at night. The burning questions will be answered. That's what I'm here for, to answer the burning questions. What does the capital look like at night in Train Simulator Classic? We will get that answer. After I wave at this woman and try to, you know, ask her on a date, which she's going to fail because I think she's married. Pity. Why would I date a character I can't actually touch anyway? <laughs> it's like dating a video game character. Well, yeah, it is. That's what it would be. Okay, never mind. Probably much better characters to date in the video game world anyway than a random woman on a platform. Now, if it was a real-life one on a platform, yeah, I would, I would date a real-life one on a platform. That would be something I would consider. Enough about my dating life. Let's uh, worry about stopping our train here at the end of the platform. What on earth is that? Hold on, is that a floaty? What did I see there? Okay, for some reason... I saw something in the cab that looked like it was stopped there. I don't know what it was, but I saw I thought I saw something ahead on the cab. Anyway, I'm stopped anyway, so I'll go ahead and I'll do that. But let's take a look at the capital and see what happened. Oh, there's the capital. Oh, it's not it's not lit up very much, is it? It doesn't have a lot of light on it. It does not have that much light on it. It's usually a lot brighter than this. Yeah, this is kind of boring. So we're gonna open the doors. We'll just take a look at our train. So yeah, when I was pulling up, I thought I saw something on the. Uh, in the air ahead of me and I was worried for a second I might actually collide with something and uh, that was the reason I stopped a little short but I was in the platform so I was fine anyway I probably could have stopped earlier and I and I should have stopped earlier but um, it just seemed weird that there seemed to be something suddenly in front of me there I'm gonna review the video but I'm pretty sure I saw something there and it's gone now really really strange in any, any case that third scenario not I didn't see the major slowdown I was expecting coming up for speeding a little bit there so yeah, take advantage of that extra speed. Even though you're told to go 60, you can actually go uh, 70, 80, and that's enough to do it. That's uh, gonna, gonna give you a comfortable amount of uh, time to get here. So take advantage of the fact that you are allowed to speed in this scenario, and uh, you shouldn't have any issues with uh, getting to the end of the scenario by doing that. So yeah, definitely take advantage of that, and you're gonna be fine. So I'm, there we go, I was just gonna say, I'm about, about to say I'm waiting for the doors to close and for this scenario to end. Excellent work. Secure the locomotive, and then your shift will be completed. Roger. Now let's look at the score, shall we? Unlocked WB Lightning Fast. Walsh and Baltimore Lightning Fast. 
Yeah, I was lightning fast because I basically sped when I was told to go 60. I went 80. There you go. That's why I'm lightning fast. Lightning. Okay. Uh, anyway, three stereos done. Three more to go. But uh, have a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever it is for your part of the world. I'll see you next time for more Train Simulator Classic. I am Cycle. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if whenever that fourth video shows up on this channel for this route, it will be behind this one on the playlist. And we'll start in three, two, one.